What do you think about this? This summer, you could find yourself sitting next to your boss's kid at the office. So-called Nepo babies, Nepo being short for nepotism, are starting new internships now, and research shows that their presence can have a direct effect on office morale. HR experts say that these high school or college-age children of top execs are often underqualified. And even when they aren't, coworkers wonder how many other deserving candidates were turned down. Meanwhile, those who have joined their parents at work say, hey, they're having to work extra hard to prove themselves and dispel stereotypes. Let's get into this with our our panel, journalist and writer Brad Palumbo and attorney Kelly Hyman, thank you both for being here. Um, Brad, let's start with you. Is this uncomfortable for full-time employees who got their jobs the hard way? Yeah, it might be a little bit uncomfortable, but I think, you know, it's only human to want to use your success as a parent. If you've started a business or something to help your kids get ahead in life, that's what we all seek to do, right? Is to be successful enough that we can give our kids opportunities, get them the best schooling, save up for their college. To me, it's just a natural extension of that. And I actually have a little bit of sympathy for the Nepo babies in that maybe they're the hardest working person. Maybe they succeed and they're tremendously skilled, but people will always look at them and be like, oh, they're just because their dad's the boss or something like that even when they don't actually deserve that they're always going to be stuck with that reputation so i don't think it's all sunny uh for the nepo babies here <laughs> what do you think kelly all sunny for the nepo babies no, I agree. I agree with him. I don't think it's all sunny for the Nepo babies. I think there's two different types. Some that that come in and feel that oh, they're entitled because their parent owns the company or the head of the company and act well. They're going to be the soon-to-be boss. And other ones feel that they have to prove themselves. That just because their name is on the wall or their parents own the the company that they really want to start from the ground up and build the company better and, and work with the, the people there. So I think there's two different types. I've experienced working with it and it, and it has some good qualities about it and it has some bad qualities as well working with the Nepo uh, babies. Yeah, certainly. I, I, with the time we have, I want to get your thoughts on this. There's a new survey that found the number one mistake people regret is accidentally sending a text to the wrong person. Kelly, tell me this has happened to you. Yes, I am only human and make mistakes and absolutely have sent a text to a friend and it was intended for someone else. And there's that moment of embarrassment where you, you send it and you're like, oh, I'm sorry, it was meant for someone else. And and obviously, you, you know, you realize, yeah, I, I don't have a cat or I don't have an animal that you want me to pick up or something like that. But it happens. We all make these mistakes and we have to understand that we do it and, and, and just let it go. I've definitely, uh, not the text thing, but I've done a thing where I've been on the phone and um, my mind is just somewhere else at the end of the call and I say I love you to like a boss or something, like I'm talking to my mom. That's a story for another day. But Brad, let's talk about this. Also on the list, leaving your lunch at home, forgetting to cancel a subscription, messing up the TV by sitting on the remote. Some of these pretty minor. What does this list say about us as Americans? These are the top regrets. Well, I think it's that it shows how far we've come and how much we take for granted, right? We can get things delivered to our doorsteps at affordable prices the next day. I mean, just 10 years ago, it would have been, all right, two or three weeks out. And the more and more advanced we get, the more minor our complaints are. So these things can all be annoying. They've happened to all of us. But we should also probably take into account the fact that, hey, if these are the problems, maybe we're, we should be a little grateful for how well yeah. we're actually doing in the big picture of things. I mean, gratitude is never a, a wrong thing. I, I think it's a great reminder. Kelly Hyman, Brian uh, Palumbo, thank you both so much for your time. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.